Central Berlin's crime squad has been called out to an attempted burglary in the upscale district of Mitte. The crime squad is often the first on the scene, but finding reliable fingerprint evidence is difficult. These are detectives Heike Schroeder and Silvio Baumgart. They're working on another case involving stolen dogs, and it's got them puzzled. The burglary rate in Germany is high. Only a fraction of these crimes are solved. It's a challenge for the police. We've been called out to an attempted burglary. We haven't called back the person who reported the burglary. The people in charge on shift usually do that. But right now, there's no one manning the phones. So we're going out to see if someone's waiting for us. And then we'll be able to assess the situation. It's the first call of the day for police detectives Heike Schroeder and Silvio Baumgart. They're part of a rapid response squad. If a break-in is reported, members of the squad are often the first on the scene. Berlin has 52 of these officers on duty around the clock. The perpetrator made several attempts to force open the door. The door and the door frame are damaged in several places. But they didn't manage to break in. There have already been several attempted break-ins at the apartment block. The officers get several call-outs a day. Their busiest time is around 4 p.m., just like today. That's when people usually get back from work and notice that there has been a burglary. I really like this work because I come into contact with all sorts of people. There's something new every day, things that can still surprise you, even after seven years on the job. One minute you're at a penthouse apartment in Mitte, talking to an attorney or a diplomat. Thirty minutes later you can be in Wedding, which isn't exactly posh. I think it's fun. The detectives bring along a forensic kit that can be used at just about any crime scene, including homicide cases. But today, they're going to be looking for fingerprints. The resident shows the officers where he found signs of a break-in. They try to break in through the front somehow. You can see on this side and on this side of the door. Okay, that's good. Have you got some ID? Has this plate been here a long time? How long? Let me think. Six months? And so have you been living here a long time? 30 years. 30 years, okay. Then my colleague will examine the door for possible evidence. This is not the first time that burglars have tried to break in here. Chief Detective Inspector Heike Schroeder knows how difficult it can be to take reliable fingerprints. The average person can't see where the would-be thieves tried to break in, but Detective Schroeder can. The resident is pretty upset that someone keeps trying to break into his apartment. It could be a serial offender or maybe a gang. The investigation could shed some light on that. We called the police and asked them to come over and get some fingerprints. That could help an investigation. There's already been a break-in on the ground floor. Maybe there's some kind of connection. Who knows? Yeah. 
letztendlich gibt er ja an. He said there had been several break-in attempts, and now he's finally had enough. He called the police to see whether the crime scene unit could find some evidence that might lead to the suspect's arrest. Sometimes burglars do a lot of damage to the doors even if they don't break in. And the landlord tells the tenants that if they want the damage to be repaired, they'll have to report the case to the police. So we get a lot of those reports, too. We want the public to report attempted break-ins. It's the only way that we can establish certain crime patterns or the presence of criminal groups. This helps us to create an overall view of the places where these groups are active so we can take preventative measures. It's a pressing issue. Germany's annual burglary rate stands at around 170,000. Police can often tell that professionals have been at work, but actually catching them is more difficult. Only 15% of cases are ever solved. I'd say this was the work of a more experienced burglar. There were few visible signs of entry. I'd say they tried to press down the latch. Some use cards, more specialized than this one, between the door and the door jam, and they press down the latch. That way they don't make a lot of noise or leave much evidence. Detective Schroeder is passionate about her job. And she knows that the smallest piece of evidence found at a crime scene could lead to an arrest. Definitive. I feel great when I can take some fingerprints. We don't know at that point whether that evidence will lead anywhere, but at least we've got something to start with. But just when the detectives thought that they could relax a bit, they get another call. Did the victim call? Yes. Either he doesn't speak German well, or he was under the influence. Okay. We'll see. Okay, it's a burglary? Yes, it says here it was a burglary, but this job is always good for surprises. It looks as if dogs were taken by the burglars. A female and 13 puppies. Detective Schroeder does some research on the breed of dogs that were stolen. Bulldogs, American bully pockets to be more precise. And the owner does appear to be under the influence. The detectives aren't taking any risks. They put on their bulletproof vests. Heike Schroeder has worked in the crime scene unit for 22 years. Silvio Baumgart has spent seven years here. Every day their work takes them into the homes of strangers and into potentially tense situations. I became a police officer because, like many of us on the squad, I thought of myself as a small-time Sherlock Holmes, looking into the detail of crimes and considering where, when and how things might have happened. That was my motivation to become a police officer. Um, to Their next case is rather unusual. Because the caller appeared to be drunk, the officers first want us to stay behind. We'll go in alone first and see what's going on. And if the dog owner says it's okay, then you can come in. The owner does not want us in his apartment, so we have to wait outside. No typical signs of a burglary. 
The perpetrators didn't rummage around in the closets looking for valuables. Instead, a female dog and her 13 puppies were stolen. That indicates that someone must have known that the dogs were inside. It was likely a targeted burglary. So we're probably looking for someone who's known to the victim. The detectives don't have much to go on. Now they're going to take a look at the fingerprints that were taken in their first case of the day. Unfortunately, there were just a few fresh prints on the door, and they won't be of much use. There was very little, just one area. If you look at it under the light and use a magnifying glass, you can see very faint print ridges. But there's not enough there to allow us to ID the print, even if we'd caught the perpetrator. So we'll just throw it away, and in our report, we'll write that no reliable evidence was found at the scene. For criminals, break-ins seem to be a good business model. The risk of being caught is low. And if you are caught, you might get off with just a fine. But now the government is talking about introducing a minimum sentence of one year in jail. Maybe that will help detectives Heike Schroeder and Silvio Baumgart in their battle against burglars. <laughs>